Multiple people have asked me to make a tutorial on how to edit like Magnate's media and in this video I will be doing exactly that. A teenager abandons his life on his family's farm and heads to the city in search of work, only to get fired within- Just a quick disclaimer, if you follow along with this tutorial, don't expect it to look exactly like his does, it's just going to be showing you how to animate like him. So his final video will look a lot cooler than mine, his assets will look a lot better than mine will, and I'm going to be linking all of the assets that I'm going to be using in the description below. Also, if there are any content creators watching, check out the top link in the description. My website may have something of interest to you. I've just imported all of my assets, and I've also put the picture of the boy and the picture of the barn background into the timeline. I'm going to make both of these layers 3D, and I'm going to parent link the picture of the boy to the background and I'm going to keyframe the scale, go forward a couple seconds and increase the scale by, I don't know, around 100. This is basically going to make everything scale in like there's a physical camera moving towards the boy. I really like the effect. I'm going to highlight the two keyframes, press F9 and create this graph by moving the toggles over to the left. And so it starts off fast and then becomes slower as we go along. I'm going to press R and I'm going to keyframe the Z rotation a couple seconds in and at the start I'm going to keyframe it again. In the middle I'm going to make two keyframes and I'm going to change these two middle keyframes to around plus four degrees uh, for both of them. And this is basically means it's going to start off at zero, go to four for a couple seconds, for a couple frames and then go back to zero. And it's going to create this cool tilt effect that you have in the Magnetic Media video like this. Obviously the keyframes aren't smooth, but that is what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do now. Highlight them, press F9, and I'm going to play around with the time remapping until I get roughly what I want. You can you feel feel free to follow what I'm doing on screen as well. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the far left toggle as far as it can go to the left, and this will make the middle bit of the graph as flat as possible so you don't notice the transition between the two movements. I'm going to press Alt, click on the position, and I'm going to type in wiggle to uh, comma three. And this is going to make this camera wiggle around slightly and make the movement look a bit more natural as well. I like the effect. I'm also going to import my second person, make the layer 3D and pick whip him to the background. I'm then going to move him back slightly in the camera and I'm just going to position him for where, um, to where I want him to be when the video starts. I'm then going to go forward slightly and just see how it looks. His arm's in the way and I don't really like that. So I'm going to keyframe the position, go forward when it stops, the camera stops moving and move him even farther back. So, and then when the camera stops moving, he's fully out of frame, as you can see like this. I like that. I don't like the fact, I like the fact that his arm's not in the way anymore. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to search up in the effects panel tint, and I'm going to apply that onto the farmer. And then what I'm going to do is get out my text and I'm going to type up a teenager abandons his life on his, like it did in the Magnets Media video. And I'm going to just play around with the text until it's in the right position for me. It's going to scale it up a bit, move it to the top, maybe scale it down a bit because it was a bit big. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it behind the, the boy and I'm going to pick whip it to the background and I'm going to make it 3D and now now it moves with the camera so it looks like it's actually the camera is moving and it's not just scaling then I'm going to make my second text layer and I'm going to type up family's farm but I'm going to scale it up a lot bigger so um I'm going to, actually no I'm going to put it below the uh behind the character as well and scale it up a lot as well I'm going to make it a bit um vertically higher like he did and I'm just going to position it at the start where I want it to be. Just roughly where I want it. Um, I want it to be really big. I'm going to pick whip it to the background, just like the other one. But for some reason, the text is now moved in front of it. So what you want to do to fix that is I'm pretty sure you have to make it in the layer not 3D anymore like this. And it will go behind it again. But yeah, this is what we've got so far. It looks really clean in my opinion. What I'm going to search up in the effects panel is I'm going to search up typewriter. I'm going to add that to the first text layer and I'm going to press U to open up the keyframes, which have already been made for us. And I'm going to change the end point. So, and then it, it ends the effect when 
I want it to end and I want it to be quite fast like it is in the video in the original magnetic media video and I'm also going to add that onto the bottom text layer as well and do the same thing and I'm going to cut it where I want it to appear and start and I'm going to move the final keyframe as well so and then it moves a lot faster than it currently is because it's really slow right now um yeah again just this is just preference like it might not line up with the way he says it but it doesn't really matter um yeah this is what we've got so far i'm then going to search up glow in the effects panel and i'm going to apply that onto the text layer and i'm just going to play around with the glow intensity and until i get what i want i'm going to go for about 0 0.7 i'm going to control c on the glow and control v on the set on the other text layer that we have so and then it's the same settings on both i didn't even know you could copy effects for a while but that you can now so yeah make sure you copy it and then paste it onto the other text layer i'm going to play around with the like the family's farm bit because i'm trying to emulate what he did and i'm going to search up vignette on the effects panel and i'm going to apply that to the barn background just so and then it has a bit of that darker vibe that is in the magnate media video so around 60 i'm going to get it too so yeah um this is what we've got so far it's getting better and better every time I'm also going to apply some par a particles overlay and I'm just going to stretch it out so and then it is um, the, the width of the video. I'm going to position it at the top and only the top, make sure it's only at the top. And then I'm going to just, yeah, this is what we've got. This is what it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm then going to go to the mode and change it to screen so you can't see the black background anymore you can only see the particles i'm going to touch such up tint again and apply it onto the particles so they are white like they are in the magnates media video and this is what we've got so far i'm going to create a new composition and name it and heads to the city because that's the first line of what he says in the new one is just so i don't get confused i'm also then going to import the assets that i'm going to use for this one and um, so the first one's just going to be this picture of this old village. It's nothing like the one he used, but this is to show you how to animate like him, not how to do graphics design like him. I'm also going to import a, an orange screen, scale it up. So and then it covers it and change it to the blending mode to screen. So and then it has this orange vibe. Then I'm going to decrease the opacity so it doesn't look so awful. And it just it just adds an a, a orange look instead of making it completely orange. I'm going to add a vignette to the background because it's quite light right now and I'm going to increase the angle of view so it has this dark mysterious vibe that, that Magnus Media video has. I'm going to search up fast box blur and I'm going to add this to the background. By the way, you should do this for the um, farm farm background as well, not just this one, I forgot to say, and make it 1.5 for maybe this one and the farm background. I'm also going to import my the boy again. I couldn't find a, like a picture like he did. So I'm just going to use the same one again because this is showing you how to animate like him. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to make all the layers 3D and I'm going to position the boy where I want him to be in the middle. Press, just open up scale, go forward a couple seconds and I'm going to, actually I'm going to add the voiceover so I can actually hear what's going on because I can't hear the audio anymore. I'm going to pick everything to the background. I'm going to go forward a bit and increase the scale. Well, I'll go forward about a second or so and increase the scale. So and then we've got the same zooming in effect that we have in the other composition i'm going to highlight the keyframes press f9 to easy ease them and i'm going to play around with the graph until i get slightly what i want i want a more of a quick movement in the middle i want a build up than a quick peak like i've got now it looks pretty cool and i'm going to keyframe the position near the end of the movement and i'm going to go i'm going to then keyframe it again a couple seconds after and i'm going to move the composition down as far as it can go before going off screen like this so it moves down slightly that's what happened in the magnets media video anyway i'm going to import my picture of a spanner i'm going to rotate it so and then it um matches the like look i want which is basically i want the end of the spanner there only the end of the spanner on screen i'm going to increase the scale so it's slightly bigger and i'm going to make it a 3d layer and i'm going to pick whip it to the background again you want to pick whip, pick whip everything to the background um yeah so then I'm going to duplicate it by pressing, uh, I think it's Command D or Control D. I'm going to go transform and then flip vertical. And this, this is just so, and then I have a spanner on each side of the screen and they are roughly the same size. 
I'm going to change the rotation so it's the same kind of look. It's just like flipped on the other side of the screen. Just you'll fr feel free to play around with it to look for it to look how you want it to look. And I'm just going to move everything so and then it looks, it's organized well in the composition. And this is what we have so far. Obviously, I haven't animated it the, anything yet. Then I'm going to cut the spanners when I want them to come in. I want to keyframe the positions at the start. Go forward a bit and by maybe like a half a second and make it so and then the, the first keyframe they're off screen and then for the second keyframe they're on screen and I'm going to highlight the top two keyframes and I'm going to move them to the right so and then they tra they two spanners transition in at different times as you can see maybe I'll move it a bit forward so and then it's like this it's like one two I'm going to press f9 in the bottom keyframes after highlighting them and I'm going to do this with the graph by just moving both toggles to the left and I'm going to do this for both of them so they are equal and this is what we have so far it looks quite clean it's not exactly like how Magnates Media has done it but I'm going to fix that later and just play around with it until you get what you want obviously and yeah this is what we've got so far now I'm going to go back to the original composition and I'm going to when he starts to talk about the next scene then I'm going to import the next scene itself, the and heads to the city composition. I'm going to add it onto there. And what I'm going to go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my animation compose composer three, which is a free plugin. No, it's a free extension by Mr. Horse. You can download it off Google for free. I, I'm not sponsored by them. It's just a pretty cool plugin or whatever it is. I'm going to add the generated light leak two onto it. I'm going to play around with this um, length of it. And so, and then I have an automatically made animation for me like this it looks pretty cool it's a really useful thing you should actually download it um and i want to link that up to when the flash sound is with the magnates media video as well and i'm going to go back to the ad and heads to the city one and i'm just going to play around with the keyframes i'm going to easy ease the animate the the keyframes when they start to go down and i'm just going to play around with it until i get more of a smooth look so it's not so abrupt and this is what I've got so far, how it goes down slightly at the end. And what I want to do is I then want to open up the position of the and heads to the city thing, like um, composition, create a keyframe, go forward a couple seconds or a second or so. And I'm going to move the whole thing up and out of screen. So and then it transitions off to really to reveal to reveal what is underneath which would be the next key, uh, the next um, scene. I'm then going to just play around with the keyframes until I get roughly what I want. It doesn't look very smooth right now, but I'm just going to play around with it and try and make it look smoother. It's almost matched. Like I'm, you can probably see what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to make it as smooth as possible. But you can still see that like that cut when it starts to move, and I don't like that. And mm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight them and press F9 to fix that as well. I'm, and I'm going to cut everything when it starts to transition off screen. I'm going to cut everything which is underneath it and cut cut all of it. So and then it reveals the blacks like what would be. So it just reveals nothing underneath, which is what it would have another scene. And this is what we have so far. Um, as you can see, the transition is actually quite smooth now because I easy ease the keyframes, the position keyframes. I'm also going to import my fire overlay where there's a burning fire from the bottom of the screen i'm going to put the overlay at the bottom of the screen so and then it's basically basically what i've got i've got these flames and i'm going to change the mode to screen so and then you can't see the bl uh, black background and it just even though right now it's quite bright so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press t to open up the opacity um change the opacity down so and then it's not so um obvious that, that the fire is there um i just wanted to complement it and this is what we have so far. We're almost done here. Now I'm just going to play around with it to make it look a bit better. I'm going to play around with the spanners. So and then they take a bit longer to fade in on screen. I'm going to open up the uh, rotation keyframes and I'm going to make it so at the start it is a bit twisted and then it's going to revert back to normal. This basically makes it so and then it it twists inwards like this basically just copy what i'm doing on screen here um so yeah you want to go forward a bit and you want to match these keyframes to the position keyframe so and then they don't twist at weird at different point 
just match up the position keyframes to these rotation keyframes and make it so it starts to twist on screen. And as you, as you can see, I'm twisting it here, like I'm increasing the um, orientation and I'm going to do that at the start. So, and then it starts to twist and then it's going to come in like this. You can see how it starts off twisted and then ends like how it was originally. I really like the effect. It makes it just to seem a bit more interesting like this. It's also what Magnates Media did in his video and I think it looks good. So I'm going to do it as well. Then I'm going to highlight the keyframes, press F9, and I'm going to do this with the graph just so that it um, rotates in a bit faster. And I'm going to do this for both of the uh, spanners. And this, but for some reason, they're now in a weird position. So I now need to move them again. Uh, see, notice how they're now twisted into a weird spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the position and I'm going to go on to, I'm going to change the position of these, um, the spanner. So and then it's on, it comes on screen properly and change the position while hovering over the last keyframe. So and then it doesn't create a new keyframe. So notice what I've got now. I think it looks quite good. How oh, it um, flips inwards. I'm also going to just increase the position slightly. So no, I'm going to space out the keyframe. So and then it rotates in a bit slower. Like this is what I've got now. I think it looks pretty good. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the position keyframes and I'm going to make the position keyframes just slightly less steep by moving the left toggle slightly to the right. So and then the line isn't as steep as it was before. And this is what it should look like. It's quite subtle, but it's just, it's just making it look slightly better. And this should be the finished animation. A teenager abandons his life on his family's farm and heads to the city in search of work, only to get fired within just six. If you're a content creator looking to grow and scale your business, or you're a content creator looking for video editing services, check out the top link in the description. My website may have something of interest to you.